So in Black Myth Wukong, we have already covered a couple of different XP farms, but this one I have found is by far the absolute best. You're not only going to get a load of XP, you're going to get a load of will. You're going to get some silk, you'll get pieces of gold for extra will. But this is insane. However, there is a transformation that is required to do this. And that transformation is Ashen Slumber, which I have very, very recently covered on the channel. To get yourself Ashen Slumber, come back to this video. And then from the Pool of Shattered Jade, what we're going to do is just very quickly, if I go to Self Advance, I'm going to show you. You need to make sure that you have, like when you've got Ashen Slumber, which is Rage Burst, make sure that you, like, even if you're basically reclaiming points, you want to max this out to get max damage. And then if you're a high enough level, you want to max Ferocious Form out as well, so that you get extra damage. And basically, with Ashen Slumber, what you're going to do from the Pool of Shattered Jade, if we rest quickly, you need to be careful with this. For some reason, my sprinting's bugged out. I can't sprint anymore. So I'm going to have to do a full restart, but I'm going to do a little bit of farming first. So basically, from that shrine, all you do is you come up here, and you're going to see a bunch of different cocoons. And what you want to do is get, like, in the middle of them, and then transform, and then all you're doing is doing a detransform. You're going to explode, and you're going to see the wheel building up. You're going to see the XP building up. You get so much from this, and it takes literally five seconds. So if we rest again at the shrine, we then come out of it. Unfortunately, I can't sprint, but we're going to make our way up here. Then when we get into the group of cocoons, what we're going to do is stand, like, basically in the middle, transform using Ashen Slumber. Then we're going to do Fiery Burst, which is detransforming. And you're then going to see a bunch of will. You're going to see all the XP at the top. You're going to see tiny pieces of gold, silk. There is loads of it. So we'll do it one more time. We've just done the resting. If we come out here... I thought I was going to be able to sprint then. Come back into the group of cocoons. And once we are in here, try and avoid the swipes. We're going to transform. Then we're going to detransform. And there we go. We've just earned ourselves another spark. We've leveled up. We've got a load of will. I've done this for maybe two or three minutes before I started recording. I must have had about 3,000 will when I started. If we very quickly go to the store, I now have 27,000. So the amount of XP you're getting, the amount of will you're getting, this is crazy. It is by far, and there's no question about it, it's by far the best XP farm that I have come across in this game. And being in Chapter 4, I don't think there's going to be any others in Chapter 5 and Chapter 6. I'm not entirely sure yet. Haven't made it that far. But what you want to do is get yourself Ash and Slumber, power it up with the Sparks, and then you want to make your way to Webbed Hollow to the Pool of Shattered Jade. So that was the best XP farm I have found, at least so far, in Black Myth Wukong. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.